Why? Why do you pursue me? How's it going, viewers? Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing another Skyrim video. I thank all of you who are watching and have watched my videos. I am going to probably not continue on with Red Dead Redemption 2. Just because the gameplay, I'm not enjoying it. I enjoy the gameplay of Skyrim, and the good news is there will be <clears throat> some upgrades coming up for Skyrim in celebration of its 10 years in existence. Yes, this game has been around 10 years, and its maker, Bethesda, is going to do some upgrades, which means... Elder Scroll 6 won't be around for another couple years. And, well, they're just doing this to make fans happy, in a sense. And I'm going to download it since I already have a Xbox One version of Skyrim. And I will do videos once that is upgraded. Now, Grand Theft Auto. 5 is coming out with a re-release for the upgrades and content for Xbox Series X. I will be doing some videos involving that. I'm also thinking of buying Psychonauts 2. And because I record these videos way ahead of time, I am basically probably already playing Psychonauts. I can't tell you for sure. Um, if you want to see some videos involving Psychonauts 2 or Grand Theft Auto updates, leave some comments. Um, definitely we'll do some Skyrim. Again, I won't be getting back to Red Dead Retention 2 at any point in time. Anyway, this is called Unfathomable Depths. That's how you access avant charles this rune that I'm walking around, and let's get to the mission. Unfathomable Depths begins when you are on the docks of Riften and meet from deepest fathoms. Why? Why do you pursue me? You, you must take the lexicon. Free me of my burden. The memories, I cannot stand them. You must take them away, return them to a Monchenzel. You must take the lexicon from me. Please, take it now. You must bring it to a Monchenzel. In the West, return it to them. It must go back. This is an actually a really nice Dwarven rune, and you can access it, like I said, once you start this mission. And now there's a cave entrance where there wasn't one. What has happened is, from Deepest Fathoms and her party entered a Vanshin cell to uh, steal this lexicon, and, well, she was the only survivor. So let's get this mission started, creepy, creepy up. Um, there will be some encounters with a lot of constructs and ghosts. So I'm going to let things play out a little bit, and you can see what is happening. I don't like this place. It feels like we're being watched. It's a simple job, Drennan. We get in, we steal the lexicon, we leave. Don't get jumpy. If you two cannot handle this, we can find others to hire. Enough. Their services will be more than adequate. Let us continue.
as you follow the ghosts into a Vunchen cell and go deeper, you will encounter more and more powerful uh, dwarven constructs. And you start out with the basic dwarven spider worker. And I'm going to try and shoot him, but yeah, well, that doesn't work out real well, and I got to fight him. So, yeah, for some reason, I can't hit him and do damage. He's aware of me, but not attacking. This is not working out, so I'll let things play out. And throughout this time, I'm going to do some fast forwarding as well. You know, I like to fast forward through the basic slogging through the dungeons. It's time to get to battle with these spider workers. With the spider workers down, it's time to go deeper into a Vunchen cell. And as you go deeper in, you're going to start to encounter the ghosts again, some other, other Dwemer constructs, Dwarven constructs, and you're going to find um, just scrap metal. And if it's the right type of scrap metal, you want to carry it with, because then you can melt it down like the Bent Dwemer scrap metal. And the uh, there's nothing here we're taking. But if it's scrap metal, pick it up. You can melt it down into metal ingots. This place is unbelievable. Indeed. A bunch of Zelda is as much a library as it is a city. Built to hold the vast memories of the dweller. At this point, you can follow the ghosts or you can go up this ramp. I advise going up this ramp and fighting the Dwemer constructs because it leads to the end of the game and you take care of these guys right away. They're out of the way and it will make things a little easier for you going up the ramp and fighting these Dwemer constructs. Okay, now I'm going to heal the character up. Uh, there is some scrap metal that I've picked up, and then there's another reason why I am having or advising you to come up this way. And once this spider worker is taken care of, and you can wind up, common soul gem is good, conundrum ore, sell the oil, that Dwemer scrap metal that I passed over, that's stuff you don't want to grab. Now, this is another area where, you know, the details of the piping and other stuff. This door you can't open. It only can be opened from the opposite side, which is when you get to the end of the game. Then you come up this area. And again, this is why I advise you come up here first. There's some... This door, which you can open, and it will allow you to exit. You don't need to go through that. There's some more garbage here, not worth taking. Dishes, stuff like that, not worth it. Um, candlelight, and I'm going to get back the sword here. But over here is a large sack, a skeleton with some gold and this is actually where you can store stuff because when you dungeon crawl and you get scrap metal and you pick it up you need somewhere to store it and if you keep coming back here to drop stuff off 
like this bent Dwemer scrap metal and all this stuff I'm dumping in there, it won't disappear. It's stored. And you can come back and pick it up at a later point. Now I'm going to fast forward a little bit to the next part of the mission. Yeah, I just fast forwarded through a bunch of stuff because it's just walking through and crawling through the dungeon, fighting Dwemer constructs. There's nothing real interesting going on. You're just slogging through the dungeon. Now you get to this point and you don't want to go down. There's this apprentice lock that you can pick and open up. And there is a treasure chest here that. It has some valuable stuff. Gold, yeah, don't bother with iron shields or anything. They're not worth it. They're way too much. That reverend deal, steel dagger, just, again, don't bother with iron weapons unless they're enchanted. Now, you come down here to a certain point, and you fight a Dwemer spider, and then you move forward to, uh, again, you're slogging through the dungeon. I'm slowing down here because this is a very important area. You see this open area? There are some spider workers that you're going to have to fight through. But to the right, if you can kind of see it, there's some doors. Those are important. And if you come down here, you see that landing pad to the right? Yeah, that's important. And this big open area... You always want to investigate big open areas in Skyrim that are in dungeons because hidden in nook, nooks and crannies and corners can be treasure chests and other stuff. I mean, that is some advice. When you're in a big open area in Skyrim in a dungeon, check it out. Look through each nook and cranny and corner. Don't just go to the next hall that you need to go to and progress. Take some time and explore. In this case, there is no other hidden treasure chests, but there are those big doors that you're going to want to walk through. And once I look through the area here, again, I don't see anything. So. I'm going to head over to these big doors here. That's the main other hall. This corner, nothing. So this door is trapped. You take a little damage. But there's a lot of treasure behind these doors. And yeah, there is the uh, stuff on the shelf here. These treasure chests. Ooh, Helm of Water Breathe. That's going to be good. I can make another dwarven helmet and put that on. There's these treasures, waning frost. Yeah, there's a lot of enchanted items here. This is some good treasure. And then there's a full suit of dwarven armor that I can improve and enchant. And once you get through these next set of doors, that actually leads you to another part of the quest. And let's see what's happening. Things ignoring us. A Banchenzel is waiting. Waiting for what? No one seems to know. Perhaps the return of a Dwemer. Perhaps the end of the world. Best get rid of the ones we see, just in case. Well, the good part is from Deepest Fathom's party, did some work for you. You can investigate these uh, damaged Dwemer orbs and find some stuff in them. But I'm going to fast forward through to the next pertinent part of the adventure. I 
I told you, we should have hired him. We are thieves, you fool. We're stealing the cube. And yet none of us can pick a damned lock. This is an apt lock. Now, as I've said before in previous videos, you want to have at least 100 lock picks if your lock picking skills are not that good or aren't improving or you have no way to magically enhance your lock picking skills. I started out with 50. You kind of have to move stuff around to get a feel for it. There's even a certain click you got to listen to that can help you out. Yeah, lock picking. These are one of the skills that you need, but it helps to have enchanted items that help you out that you can carry around. And to be honest with you, this room actually has some decent stuff in it some ingots, some gems, a treasure chest. Yeah, it, it, it's not bad. It has some decent things. The chest here. Gold, ooh, gauntlets of major wielding. You know, this actually, these runes are loaded with some magical items. Again, I'm going to fast forward to the next pertinent part. Anticipate a vengeance of size or the time needed to uncover the entrance. A few hours sleep and we should be ready to continue through. Maybe we should turn back. I don't want to see Peter. Drennan, you do understand that the lexicon at the bottom of this place holds the accumulated memories of centuries of Dwemer. Not to mention our pay. So? So we're not turning back, you fool. Besides, you're not scared of a few sleeping metal men, are you, Drennan? This is where, um, from Deepest Fathom's party decided to sleep, and things probably went awry after. Now, I'm going to slog through the runes here. You get to this point, there's not a lot, but there is these doors. And yes, they're trapped. Um, you walk in between and you open the doors and, yep, you're getting killed by spinning blades. But there are some wonderful things in this room here. There are some dwarven spiders that you can investigate. And most of all, there is some scrap metal. Right over here. Solid Dwemer scrap metal. You pick those up. Those are awesome. Otherwise, some other stuff. You wind up. Again, not a lot here. And it's kind of a vacant room. Uh, yeah, there's a treasure chest there. I'm going to cast a light. There's some dwarven bowls. Um, I actually like those. If they're 20 or over, you want to take them. You can sell them and make some money. Again, these dwarven bowls are 20 gold or over. There's a book here. Ah, increased restoration. It's not a bad room. Not great, but not bad. Oh, man. <laughs> Great Sword of Binding, Hide Helmet of Illusion, who cares about the unmagicked leather armor here? Uh, yeah, I'm getting toward being encumbered, so i got to figure out what I can dump. This is not good. This is what happens when you start picking up Dwarven Scrap Metal. You become a little more encumbered. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the cogs, the the gyros the whatever i don't need or don't care about i'm dumping the metal is important because you can melt it down 
Again, I'm going to fast forward through here to the next pertinent part. Okay, scratch that. I said I was going to fast forward, but wait a minute. Here's a nice area of storage. And over here is just a spider. I'll take this guy down with my weapons. And then over by this storage area, up there goes a bowl. <laughs> Forget the gear, but that bowl, hey, it's 20 gold. And here's an apothecary area. And apothecary, I already did a video on that, on how important this is as a skill, alchemy. You can just make some potions and make yourself some money. I'm going to cast candlelight here again. This storage area, you're going to have to explore. There's some very interesting stuff. In this dungeon, you're going to become encumbered, and that's a problem. But I'll show you how to get around that once I become encumbered. Okay, I just fast forwarded through a bunch of dwarven storage areas fighting dwarven constructs. And yeah, my character is severely encumbered. I'm now encountering this frustrating apt lock, and I'm going to fast forward through the whole picking process. Yeah, that lock took me over a minute to break, and I broke a lot of pieces or lock picks, and my character is severely over encumbered. Um, if you have the whirlwind sprint, that will help you out. Yeah, I mean, you can leave areas where you store stuff, and I've done that before where I've left storing stuff in like in these chests and I've come back grabbed stuff brought it back you know thought about doing this and you got to come back to be honest with you trying to unencumber yourself and leave stuff behind well you're going to come back and eventually you're going to have to walk through the dungeon completely to, how shall I say, come back and get stuff that if you just slowly dragged it along, you're kind of better off. I mean, you're in the middle of a dungeon and you drop a bunch of stuff off that you gotta come back and pick up. Yeah, how much are you wasting in time? I mean, granted, you can go back and walk through the dungeon and pick stuff up again after you've finished, but you've still wasted time. It's either you drag it with you and walk slower using Whirlwind Sprint to help you along, or you leave it behind, or whatever. Again, I decided I'm going to pick everything up. Yeah, I'm unable to carry things, but Whirlwind Sprint will help. I'm just going to dump off stuff I don't need. And again, I'm going to fast forward here to a very important part of the mission. I thought you said these things were sleeping. You said they were sleeping. I said they were waiting. It seems a few of them were waiting for someone to try and take the lexicon. Great. Again, you're over encumbered, a little more weight ain't going to matter, and you got to slog your way through. It sucks. A whirlwind sprint will help. And just anything that you're carrying, if you have weapons that are not enchanted, again, I advise you drop them unless they are really valuable. I just whirlwind sprinted there. If you have iron, steel, 
anything that's not elven, dwarven, orc. This is a huge battle where there is a lot of um, Dwemer constructs and a lot of loot. You're going to be slower, but that doesn't matter. Just fight through. I'm not going to stick around for the entire battle here. I'm going to fast forward through it and move on because, yeah, you're going to be over encumbered, but drag everything along of any real value. Like I said, Dwemer weapons, Orc weapons, Elven weapons, Enchanted weapons. And anything enchanted is a value. Keep it. Um, metal, um, scrap metal that is, you can melt down and make into dwarven metal ingots to reforge things. Um, even if you have to dump off books that have less value than 10 or 15 gold. You get your weight down if need be. But is it better to slog through a dungeon over encumbered or leave hidey holes where you put enough treasure in there to where you're no longer encumbered and go back and get it? That's always a good philosophy. Let me know what you think in the comments. So we grab it and we get out, right? Once we have the lexicon, we'll need to take it to its podium. I know what to do from there. Soon the lexicon's knowledge will be mine. Ours. Soon the lexicon's knowledge will be ours. Of course. Yours, mine, ours. Dissension in the ranks. Yeah, you can see that this party that came in before was already fragmenting. And I'm slogging through the dungeon using uh, Whirlwind Sprint as much as I can. I'm going to keep fast forwarding because it becomes a long video here if I don't fast forward. Something doesn't feel right. Dwarven metal ingots. That's why you haul the scrap metal with. So you can melt it down and create dwarven metal ingots. And those dwarven metal ingots can be made into Dwemer armor. If you use steel and iron, uh, just one iron ingot and two Dwemer metal ingots, you can create Dwemer bows, and you can make a bunch of those and raise your armor level up extremely high. This is where I'm contemplating, um, how shall I say, um, holding up and doing the saving of things because the character is so encumbered. I can just leave stuff in, and if I follow the party, there is some, how shall I say, chances of dying after this door. And, yeah, being encumbered doesn't help. I'll let things, I'll show you what happens and what is going to go on and explain things. You come to this hall. There's buttons on the ground. You got to avoid those. Because, oh, you can't avoid those. This is where things get tricky. And I'll let it play out so you can see what happens.
Yeah, being encumbered doesn't help. And I got killed, and I have to come back to where the game naturally saved and go through a whole lot of stuff before I can even get to that room. And I didn't put a save in or a quick save, and that sucks. So I'm going to fast forward through all the stuff I've already been through to where I do it smart. This is where I dump everything off to where I'm not encumbered. And it's a lot of stuff. I can store it into this um, Dwarven Spider because that's not going to go away. It's a permanent fixture. If you put it in a dead body, the dead body can disappear, which isn't good. So everything I can dump into this Dwarven Spider that I know won't disappear, yeah, I'm loading everything into it just so I can walk. And this is where I start to do things a little smart. And then I realize, oh, wait, there's an even smarter way of doing things. And once I get everything dumped, I put a save in. Now, everything you see me dumping in, large, yep, this is where I do my save. All that stuff you saw me dumping in, that's where I'm keeping it and hiding it because you need it. Now, I open these doors and you see this uh, trigger area. Now, you can walk right to the side here, walk right down to the side, avoid all of the triggers, and you find this guy and you can take whatever you need from him. Uh, yeah, you flip this lever, it's supposed to deactivate, and you come back up here, and it's all supposed to be deactivated until you step on those things, and yeah, it's running again. Those automatically activate the trap, and until you can get around that spinning blade and flip that lever, doing it along the side here doesn't help. But not being encumbered helps, and you can work your way down and weave your way down. Whirlwind Sprint here. Turn that off, and it stops. And you run back up here, and you reactivate. Oh, my Lord. You have to do this again and again and again. And I realize, you know what? I'm just going to go to this. And it won't stop, so I'm going to die again, which isn't good. Yeah, uh, this is where I decide and realize I'm going to die again. So I'll probably reload and do the smart thing and not die. Because these blades kill you real quick. So, yeah, plentiful healing, not going to help. Going to load my save. Not this one, this one. And what I'm going to do is after this loads, I'm just going to grab everything out of this Dwemer spider and do the walk around the side and avoid everything entirely. In fact, I'm just going to fast forward. No, I'm not going to fast forward. Fully encumbered, I'm going to walk down gently this ramp and this side and avoid the traps. And then this watcher guy actually is pretty important because you can dump your stuff into him. He's permanent. But before I do that, I'm going to continue on encumbered and show you what you're going to face. Once you open this door, you're really near the end. So if you dump stuff into this watcher guy, 
And you're going to have to fight. I'll make sure I got my weapons ready here. And you walk around the corner here. And what you will see is the main hallway. And you know what? Don't worry. This will play out to your advantage. I'm going to explain it. You go down this main hallway and you see that Dwemer Centurion guy. You're going to need to be able to run away as quickly as possible. And I'm going to shoot him with a bow to activate him and use elven arrows. And I'm going to shoot him and try and run away as fast as possible. This is why being encumbered sucks. Okay, actually I decided not to shoot him because I'm moving too slow. Whirlwind sprint over here. And I'm going to dump everything into the dead body to where I'm unencumbered. Now the character is considered unencumbered. And let's start the battle here. He's coming up to attack. I'm going to run back here. Take another shot at him. Oh, that steam blast hurt. I'm going to come back here. Take another shot. And then come back here. And wait for him to come. And try and lure him up here to activate. Oh, wait. He's not coming. What the hell? Oh, wait. He's stuck at the damn pipes. Forgot to say that. But I'm going to move slowly and creep up here to, as you can see, he can't get past those pipes. <laughs> so you just can pick them off. If you get a little steam burn, um, heal up. I'm going to let this play out so you can see what happens. Beautiful kill shot. Now I'm going to pick up all my crap out of the dead body here. I'm just going to hit, take it all. And then I'm going to go back and dump stuff back into him that I really don't need, like his boots and clothing. And, uh, yeah. I'm going to fast forward to the next event. As I said, being encumbered slows you down. I'm going to investigate this character. And, uh, yeah, iron armor and crap, not worth it. This Centurion, what does he have? Ooh, Dynamo. There's some nice stuff here. But don't grab full or unfull soul gems unless you can soul snare. Now, let's put the lexicon in and see what happens. If you saw in the upper left corner, Ancient Knowledge was added. It's a special enchantment that gives your Dwemer armor extra bonuses and your smithing is faster. Now already I'm over encumbered, but there's a chest here that I want to empty. And oh yeah, some nice stuff here. I mean this... Actually, Dwar Dwarven Rune is loaded with a lot of great stuff, including all of the scrap metal. Now, you take this up to Avonshald, and this door here, you open up the bar, 
and you open up the door and hey, you're in the area where I had you clear at the beginning of the adventure and now you come up to this top area where you're going to have to sort through all the stuff that you need to you can't fast tra travel if you're encumbered so you're going to have to move stuff piecemeal there is a way you can make a unlimited carrying capacity that requires the boots of strength which add extra carrying capacity or something that adds extra carrying capacity that enchantment and the resto loop or the restoration loop i might do a video on that but then you can make something like a necklace or boots that allow you to have unlimited carrying capacity and you will not be encumbered when you slog through these dwarven runes now there's a lot of stuff that you can keep, like here, the Dent Dwarven Scrap Metal. Um, the Again, the bowls I keep because I can sell them. These decorative large metal, you see these struts and stuff I'm dumping. All that is stuff you can melt down to create, like the small plate metal and the solid metal. All that you can melt down to get. Um, metal ingots to forge armor and other stuff. Now I'm dumping stuff out to unencumber my character. So I'll fast forward a little bit and show you what you kind of need to do. Once you've un unencumbered yourself, you need to fast forward to or fast travel from your current location. I am fast traveling back to White Run. And the reason I'm fast forwarding or fast traveling to White Run is the barrels in front of War Maiden. Oh, wait, courier. Something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. A letter. Not sure who from. He wouldn't say, just that he was a friend of yours. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Well, eventually Lee will check out Highgate Runes, but now I'm dumping everything into these barrels that I do not need to carry. And these barrels are the most secure place for you to dump stuff that st it sticks around but you don't want to leave it forever the barrels in front of war maiden are the best place for you to store stuff that you don't need and you just want to dump off but you're going to come back and pick up in a matter of a few back and forths to dungeons i mean eventually i'm going to buy the house and I can just dump everything I want into it. But now I dumped off that stuff. I'm going to fast travel back to Avant Shoals or whatever it is. And yeah, I'm going to do it the hard way. I'm going to do the dumb way here. Wait, nope, the entrance is not here. Uh, yeah, this is where I do it stupid. I don't see the entrance open. I thought it would be here. I got to go up a level, I think, right? Ah, uh, yeah, there's the entrance. But, yeah, okay, I'm just going to fast. I'm just going to cut to where I get into the area I need to get into. Yeah, I did it the hard way and jumped around the mountain until I got to this area. That I can walk through and come through here. And now I gotta load up on more garbage and fast travel. Yeah, you do the back and forth a couple times. I'm not gonna, this video is already getting really super long, and you probably don't wanna see any more of it. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. You'll probably figure it out that you gotta just do the back and forth. If you like this video, hit the like button. 
If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon. Hopefully I'm still doing things, um, putting out four videos a week. I might change that. Uh, I'll make an announcement if I do, and it'll override what I just said. But, um, again, leave some comments, please. I like when people leave comments. I asked a question before about whether or not it's easier to slog your way through a dungeon or leave little hidey holes and come back and pick up later. Well, yeah, if you want to leave a comment, please do. Thanks for stopping by.